Hello, Belligan here. Today I wanted to do a tutorial on creating an animated GIF emblem. If you're not quite sure what that is, I'm talking about in chat. We have these fancy animated emblems that show up. I'm telling Awar I'm going to create one of these today. He doesn't like the program I'm going to use, but uh, we all know he's full of it, so don't worry about that too much. <laughs> Delete his comment. Uh, as a vanguard, I can do that. So this is just a, a showing what I'm talking about with an animated emblem. There's one I'd made yesterday with the Titan Conquest logo uh, falling in place and then falling out as a, as a Tetris icon. So I like to use paint.net. Uh, it's a free program. It's great for image manipulation. You can get it here at getpaint.net. You can also get it through the Windows Play Store. Uh, it is free if you get it through the Play Store. I think it's five or six bucks and then they auto update it for you. Um, it's a little bit harder to install plugins if you get it through the Windows Play Stores we're talking about here, so you have to follow the tutorial on where to place them, uh, versus if you do the installation, uh, you just put those plugins where you want them. For animated GIFs, uh, I like to use uh, this plugin here, uh, this web page. Uh, the easiest way to find this is just to Google search animated GIF plugin paint.net, and this will pretty much be the first hit that you get, but this lets you add image file types as animated GIFs and animated PNG files. They both work. Uh, I'm using the GIF just because uh, that's what I'm more familiar with. PNG may or may not be more versatile. Don't know, haven't played with it a whole lot. Um, there's a lot of great plugins for paint.net that I highly recommend. Um, if you go to their basic plugin section, uh, in their forums, you'll see packs like Bold Fates Pack and so forth. They give you a lot of cool effects and images that you can do. So the one I wanted to make today, uh, I'm just testing this out. I had an idea. Hopefully it'll look cool. No idea if it will or not, but we'll, we'll try it out. But I wanted to take the Titan Conquest logo here and just have it scroll across the, the screen, per se. So I just right-click this image, copy it, and then I pasted it as a new image uh, in Paint.net. Here we go, I'll do a new one for you just to show you starting from scratch. I'm gonna get the size right. I'm gonna come click everything here that's in my alpha channel, hit control I to invert my selection to just the section I want, and then go image crop to selection. And this is gonna get the size as far as the height for what I, I need. And then what we're going to do is make frames of this scrolling across just from left to right. So the way an animated GIF is going to work is you have these multiple layers. If your layer box doesn't show up, you can click this tool up here to make it show up. Uh, you got tools here for adding a new layer, duplicating the current layer. And the, the GIFs are just going to scroll through the layers in order that you have them. So to create your animation, you'll just stack up the layers the way that, that you want them to be. Um, just to quickly show you one that is completed, uh, the PDN is the paint.net project file that has all the information in here. The animated GIF is the complete file. I'll show you this. Uh, so if I click these layers to make them visible, um, without a back background, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see um, this first layer, I've got a little bit of something gray up here. Here it's starting to fall. Here it is my very first segment. And then once that's there, and this, the next segment starts to fall, uh, and all these frames. And you've got these dashes and then the count is how long it's gonna stay on that frame. So if I want it to stay for a longer period of time, I would change it. So 100 milliseconds is pretty fast. That's gonna be 10 frames per second, which is, uh, they used to say 10 frames per second is the fastest that I can distinguish. So modern FPS gamers are gonna argue with that, but for a small icon like this, that's as fast as you need. But then if you have a frame that you wanna freeze on for longer, you can come change that. So I've got one here at the end, for example, that's 500 milliseconds, so it's gonna stay there for, for half a second. All right, we're gonna want this to be perfectly square, so I'm gonna grab my selection tool. And really quick, I'm just gonna grab the information on the canvas size. This ends up being 106 pixels high. So we're gonna make a new image now. And we're gonna make 106 by 106, so it's square. And the background in there we'll end up getting rid of at some point um, just to see what my image is going to look like. We're going to color it black. And then we're going to start adding layers. I'm going to add a new layer on this page just for my selection tool so that I can move my selection around. 
without uh, screwing up um, the what's what I'm looking for without screwing up the uh, the actual image itself. So I'm clicking the corner. If I hold Shift, it's going to make this a square up until I get to the bottom. So I'm going to grab this first square of the area on this layer. Come down here. I'm going to copy. Now with the base layer, what I want, to come over here and I'm going to paste this into my new layer. Now I notice this square isn't quite going to be wide enough to fit the whole thing in at once. That's okay. It's not a problem. So here's layer two. For the scrolling across thing, we really don't care. We're not going to fit the whole logo in anywhere. Now I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to use this movement tool. Move it over roughly 20 pixels just with my keyboard. Come back to the base layer, copy paste into layer three. So now when this actually scrolls, we'll get this image for a moment and then this image for a moment. So it's gonna kind of scroll across. Now one thing I am realizing is when I get to the end of Titan Conquest, we want this to loop back. So we'll, we'll handle how to grab both sides of this frame here in just a moment. But we're gonna repeat this process a few times here. So I'm going to end up hitting the end of my frame here and needing to loop back. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this image wider and then kind of copy and paste the, the layers over. And I probably should have done this before I started copying and pasting everything. Um, we may get a little bit of a jump in there, but we'll, we'll make this work. So I'm going to come adjust my canvas size. And the only thing I want to do is change my width. I'm at 909 right now. Let's come up to, we'll say 1200. That should be more than, than enough to grab uh, what we want to grab. I'm going to keep my image here aligned to the left. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I've got two of these images here. I'm just going to grab one of these and just slide it all the way over. Takes just a minute to slide this over. And we kind of put it wherever we want. We just know our last frame is where we're restarting at this, this left edge, uh, the, the helmet emblem. And now I've got to figure out where do I want to put, let's see, let's merge these together so they're all on one layer. Now my last layer, and I've got a ton of these enabled here, um, so it's kind of a cheat just so I don't have to unclick everything and move my background up under the current layer I'm looking at. We're going to delete this before we save the animated GIF. Alright, so my last 
visible layer we were just before the start of that T. So we're going to try to grab roughly the same box uh, in the initial image. So you're going to get a cursor right at the top, roughly right at that spot on the T. It's going to be close enough. Hold down shift to make this a perfect square. Get the actual size I need. So you got a little bit of that either. All right. Now we can go ahead and shift it. repeat this uh, copy and paste. Yeah, it's a little slow and monotonous, but uh, image manipulation tends to, to be that way. What did I do here? I think I didn't put that where I needed it. There we go. All right, I'm going to get this keep the canvas size because apparently I've been my box slightly different. So what I need to do, it looks like up and down, I'm roughly aligned the same way. So I'm not going to get a visual jump. So. We'll just uh, live with that extra checkbox these last few jumps. layer I need because after this it would be roughly lined up with the start there. We might get a little bit of stutter in the animation. Uh, shouldn't be anything too, too horribly bad. All right, what I'm going to do is come delete this background. Um, we're going to leave this all going at the same speed. That 100 milliseconds is the default. So we're going to come first, let's just save this project. We'll call it TC scroll. And now we're going to save it as the animated GIF that we want to see. So I come change my format here. Animated GIF. PC scroll GIF. That will be lovely. We'll save that. And there it's going to be animated GIF. Now to actually see what it looks like, I can just come back here to web browser. Grab my TC scroll GIF right here. Just drag and drop this on here, and we're gonna see what it looks like animated, and it will look like that. All right, I've got a blink of an empty frame in there somewhere we need to go find. So let me come back to all of my layers here. There it is, there's my empty layer I didn't want. Save this again. Yeah, you can see there's just a little bit of slowdown where it loops right at the, the helmet. If I wanted to completely get rid of that, I could have had it just finish scrolling the Conquest off screen, um, but that's all right. Now this is gonna look a lot different when it's super small uh, on your screen. Um, so let's test and see what that looks like. So under your settings, if you have at any point purchased uh, at least $25 worth of ancient coins, you'll get this option to upload a custom emblem. So I'm gonna click on that, choose my file. And I'm gonna put this specific one up in the store if I like it enough. Uh, so you can buy it for 100K Drachma in game if you like. I'm gonna upload that. Come back to the game, it's gonna call it Belligan 660. So in my settings, we'll see, these are all gonna be labeled, so this is pretty easy to spot out, Belligan 660 right here. And in chat, if I come to my custom Belligo chat, that's what it's gonna look like. So that's how you can make a custom emblem. So you can upload these, as I mentioned, if you purchase $25 worth of AC at some point under supporting the game. Um, if you've got one you'd really like to see at some point in the store, you can always shoot me a PM and send me the file and I can upload that for you. All right, thank you for watching.